presidential race is expected to be decided in those big battleground, battleground states that we keep hearing about. And now we've got some new poll numbers from those states to tell you about. CNN Deputy Political Director Paul Steinhauser joins us now from St. Louis. What do you have for us, Paul? You got it, Kira. Five states, five states that could decide this election. We have brand new numbers from CNN, Time Magazine, and the Opinion Research Corporation. So let's take a look at them right away. Let's start with Florida, the one, the state that decided it all in 2000. 27 electoral votes at stake. Our new numbers suggest Obama has a four-point lead, 51 to 47. Minnesota, a state that's gone for the Democrats the last couple cycles. The Republicans just had their convention there, and it got a little close. Now our numbers suggest Obama's up by 11 points, 54-43. Missouri, a state that the last couple weeks has been leaning towards McCain. Bush won it last time around. Our numbers suggest it's basically a dead heat, 49-48. Nevada, a western state the Democrats would love to turn from red to blue. Our numbers suggest Obama has a four-point lead, 51-47. And check out Virginia. This state hasn't voted for a Democrat here since 1964 in a presidential election. Our new numbers suggest Obama has a nine-point lead. Other polls say it's much closer, maybe McCain ahead. Another red state, Obama would love to turn blue, Kira. All right, electoral map shifts in Obama's favor. Yeah, take a look at our new our new map. We updated it yesterday after these polls came out. And the CNN Electoral Map takes a look at polls, voting trends, where the candidates are campaigning and spending money. And right now, if the election were held today, CNN estimates Barack Obama would win states with 250 electoral votes. John McCain states with 189, with 99 electoral votes still in those toss-up states. Remember, you need 270 electoral votes to win it all to win the White House, Kira.